Hey, this is DJC from NextGen Music. I've had a few requests to share some info into my workflow here in the lab, so I've put together a couple of videos to give you some brief insights into my process for music production, mixing, and mastering. In this video, I'm going to start with the topic of audio and studio connectivity. My project studio is a fully integrated setup consisting of the best of analog and digital hardware, software, and signal processing. Let's take a look at my primary setup. On the far left of our makeshift console, we have a rack consisting of modding and vintage hardware synths, along with a hardware drum machine and advanced MIDI routing units. And on the far right off to the side of the console, we have a mixture of electronic keyboards and analog synths. Next to the synth rack, we have our channel strip rack along with three different types of patch bay inserts and outserts. Outserts? I think I just made that word up. On the right side of the console, we have three racks. The first consists of hardware analog to digital converters, ADCs, digital clocking, and other digital processing peripherals. The second and third racks contain analog signal processing hardware consisting of analog summing, equalizers, compressors, limiters, and other bus processing units that pass signal into the ADC units via our various patching and routing configuration options before being captured back into the computer. On the right side of the desk, we have different flavors of digital to analog converters, DACs, monitoring control, and other input devices. On the left side of the desk, we have additional signal processing and headphone distribution options. Here, we have our studio monitoring options for front of desk and front of house. Last, but certainly not least, we have the studio PC, which is without doubt the brains of the operation. Now, I work with both PC and Mac. My daily driver as far as work, business, video editing, etc. is concerned is all done on a Mac, but when it comes to writing and processing music and audio, I work with a PC. I always have, and likely always will. I also keep a spare PC in the corner with almost identical hardware configurations ready to be deployed in an emergency situation. There are some key components inside of the PC that are critical to my current workflow, Primarily, an AES PCIe card from RME that processes the digital audio coming in from the ADCs. I also have a Universal Audio Octo Digital Signal Processing Card and multiple Thunderbolt connections for audio. While I also have options for processing audio over USB, it is not my preferred method as I prefer using Thunderbolt. I'm not going to cover the software and plugins that I use. I'll get to that in another video. Now I can tell you that setting this up and managing all of these various connections was no easy task and would not have been possible without creating a detailed studio connections diagram, which I'll briefly run through now. On the first page is our master connections diagram, which provides a somewhat detailed overview of both analog and digital signal flow and interconnectivity, including digital clocking and metering, which are essential aspects of our workflow, especially for synchronizing and visualizing analog to digital and digital to analog ADDA processing. On the second page, we have our primary ADDA configurations. On pages three through eight, I have different patch bay configurations, which makes it easy to know which cables to plug in for different processing options. These are just a few of my commonly used configurations. There are almost infinite ways that we can chain together our gear across the entire setup. For instance, I can patch in audio from the channel strips on the other side of the desk and vice versa. In the future, I may consider integrating a hardware insert switcher or digital patch bay and possibly a mastering console to be able to switch and audition hardware options more quickly and easily. Lastly, on page nine, I have the rack configurations. I actually spent time pulling all of the images off of the internet and photoshopping them to use in this diagram. I also created this diagram in Microsoft PowerPoint Another thing to mention before signing off is that my setup is what I refer to as being a project studio, which I define as being somewhere in between a bedroom slash garage slash basement studio and a professional recording studio that you're likely familiar with that has large mixing consoles, multiple rooms and different setups and other cool stuff. That being said, I've made some serious investments into the tools that we use, which include high quality microphones, software, and music instruments located here and in our rehearsal space downstairs. Our end products and signal flow can easily compete with high-end pro studios. In the end though, the gear that you have doesn't really matter. It's all about how you use and master the tools available to you. I did not have a lot of money around me growing up, and I have and continue to work hard to be able to afford this type of setup. And trust me, there are many times in the past where I have regretted having deployed this rather complicated workflow, 
but I am now very much in my happy place and look forward to cranking out more of my own releases in the near future, as well as continuing to support the artist on the label. DJC, signing out.